Today I'm going to be showing you what you need to know about doing business in the Philippines, your options as a foreigner and explore some of the biggest questions asked about this topic. So first, let's take a look at some general rules. Foreigners can own 100% of a business, however, there are limitations around this. If you are looking to own 100% of the business and the business is making its money domestically, in other words, locally, you will need at least 200,000 US dollars. However, this can be lowered to $100,000 if certain conditions are met, such as hiring 50 local Filipino citizens. If the business is not majority owned by foreigners or if you're making your money from overseas, you can start a business in the Philippines for less than a hundred dollars in most cases. This one hundred dollars will include the business registration but not the business setup. Typically the law states that businesses must have 60% ownership by Filipinos. As mentioned 100% ownership by a foreigner is completely possible but financial and business requirements are often needed. What type of business can I open? Well there are several types of businesses in the Philippines and the most common option for foreigners is a corporation. Another growing option is the one person corporation. Business owners are subject to the foreign investment negative list, which is a list of industries that foreigners are restricted or limited in. I've added a link in the description below for more information. But as long as your business does not fall into these categories, this business type is another option. Thirdly, branch office is a business type that is normally where businesses overseas start their operations in the Philippines. There are also some other business types, but these are mainly for non-income generating entities. So what kind of business can you start in the Philippines as a foreigner? Due to the rules, regulations and industry demands, outsourcing has been one of the most popular business types for foreigners in recent years. However, foreigners have been known to start bars, hotels, restaurants, etc. Naturally, the type of business that you wish to start will impact the requirements and the ease of starting a business in the Philippines as an expat. I would suggest focusing on innovation and not competing directly with locals and I will explain the reason why in a moment. Are there any challenges for doing business in the Philippines as a foreigner? Starting a business in the Philippines is not the easiest process. However, there are certain categories that make it quite difficult for foreigners to start a business and succeed. First, we have the registration process. This includes registering your business name with the Department of Trade and Industries, obtaining the relevant clearances, certificate or licenses, acquiring mayor's permit, registering at the Bureau of Internal Revenue and much more. The second hurdle is finding a a Filipino business partner. The third challenge is competition. There are many popular and growing industries across the Philippines and there are some industries that are more popular than others with locals as well as expat business owners. So what's important to remember is that you're not necessarily only competing with local Filipinos but also potentially with other expats who are starting their business. Challenge four is taxation. Taxation is a complicated topic in the Philippines and in addition, tax is fairly high in the Philippines if we compare this with other Southeast Asian countries. And one challenge that you may come across is bribery and corruption. Business corruption has been a well-documented subject and it's in the public as well as private sector. So whatever type of business you are starting in the Philippines as a foreigner, you may unfortunately at some point run into corruption of one form or another. So is doing business in the Philippines a good idea? The Philippines has many growing industries and over the last 10 years has been fairly volatile in the wider economy. But this is to be expected due to COVID-19 and the rising inflation rates. There are still plenty of opportunities across the Philippines and the Department of Trade and Industry is pushing innovation across the country. After studying business in the Philippines for many years, I would strongly advise to research the market, the industry and the consumer 
heavily. The reality is that consumer behaviour and industries in the Philippines are not the same as other Southeast Asian countries. In addition, it's important to remember that some profit margins when starting a business in the Philippines can be very low. Some locals are prepared to offer products and services at a very low rate, which can easily begin a price war. From what I have witnessed, the best way to grow a business and increase your personal personal wealth is to make your money from overseas and have low business and personal costs while living in the Philippines.